Hey, what's going on everybody? Come back. It's a little weekend vlog going on. I'm going to shoot a few things and uh, put them up for Sunday and, and uh, got a few things to go over. So that's all that intro. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Welcome my outdoor crew to a weekend vlog. Yep, I'm gonna vlog a little bit today. Um, put this up on Sunday. Sunday we're probably gonna be out on trail somewhere because it's supposed to be nice 60 something degrees and no rain. But that still is probably gonna mean the trail's gonna be a little e muddy. It's all right though. We have a special guest that's in the house. If you follow me on Twitter, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you follow me on Facebook, Minton Outdoors, all the links are in the description and in, in a couple other places here on YouTube. Uh, you will know that Mr. Taco Cat has made it to Middle Tennessee. Came from Kansas Junction, Junction City, Kansas. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. But uh, made it from Kansas, made it just fine. He is happy and hanging out with the family. Chloe is in love with him. And uh, like I said, if you saw the picture, as a matter of fact, I'll throw a picture here of Taco Cat hanging out on the couch with us. And here's a picture of Chloe hugging Taco Cat. But um, I'm hoping to take him on a couple of different adventures while he's here. And then he will be moving on to the next person in line. There's a little bit of a line for him right now. Uh, three other people after me that want to hang out with Taco Cat. So, anyway, um, probably going to take him hiking tomorrow because he likes hiking. Um, but I may enter, and he's been camping before on the AT, so I may take him camping next weekend. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if weather forecast holds out to what it's supposed to, yeah, we're supposed to have another nice weekend. Might be kind of cool on Saturday, but warm up on Sunday. So I can handle that. He can handle that. Because he's a taco cat, and he's been on the AT. He's been in the Badlands. He's a bad boy cat. So anyway, guys, give me just a few minutes. We'll be back to the house, and we'll pick up from there. Okay, we're back from O'Reilly Auto Parts. Not They don't give me any kind of discounts. Well, they kind of do. Anyway, um... As far as wiper blades on my vehicles, I always run the Bosch. Um, love these things. Matter of fact, the ones that I'll show you here in a little bit on the truck now are Bosch. And they've been on there, I didn't think about it, they've been on there well over a year, maybe two. And they're just done. Um, then uh, when I run headlights in the car or truck, I always like to use the Silver Star. Uh, they're the white light instead of the yellowish light. These are for Chase's car. Um, I, I just like these better than the, uh, you know, any of the, the normal white, uh, normal headlight. I'm gonna put this stuff in, see how this works. Um, in the washer fluid, because it says it's out. And it says it'll go down to zero. But uh, it also cleans off bugs and removes light snow and ice and helps repel road spray. We'll see how that goes. And we're gonna put that in the truck too. But uh, let me get one of these wipers off. You gotta see this. I mean, this they're pretty, I didn't realize they were as beat up and done as they are, but they, they are. Hang on a second. Okay, here we go. The old Bosch wiper blade has kind of, yep, it's coming off, coming apart. It's even coming apart down at the bottom a little bit. See it crack right in there. Trust me, it's there. So anyway, we're gonna go slap the new one on. Um, what I like is they got rid of this little flop door here. You have to push it up and over. This one just locks in. I like that a little better. But I've always run these Bosch blades and love them. I've never had problems out of them. They're the Spectrum Direct Fit. Um, so yeah, let's go get this thing stuck on. And uh, we'll do the driver's side on uh, my truck, the short. The 22 goes on the uh, passenger side and the long 24 goes on the driver's side. So let's get that put on and I'll be back. All right, so 
we got the rear wiper replaced on uh, the El Murano. I tell you what, when you're doing this kind of stuff, tools from the past help out a lot. This is what they call a spoon. You can pop plastic parts off and all that good jazz. Um, hang on a second. Okay, as I was saying, um, got the washer fluid in. Air filters, always run the cane in, stock replacement. Um, to me, they work just fine. I've had them in every vehicle and I've never had a failure or problem out of them. Um, the biggest issues that they have with these Titans is exhaust manifolds and radiators going going to crap. And I just noticed this one's got a little uh, radiator funk on it, and I'm pretty sure it's because of the cap, not the radiator itself failing. Uh, a lot of people go in and put Mishimoto aftermarket four core radiators back in these Titans, and they put the Java um, or JBA um, exhaust headers with uh, your built-in cats on it when those go bad. So I've got a few miles to worry about that. Uh, those usually happen around the 200,000 mile range and this usually happens somewhere around the 200,000 mile range. So when I do it, I'll go back with the aftermarket headers and I'll go back with an aftermarket radiator, not a stock radiator because the Mishimoto is all aluminum and it's a much better radiator. Um, Outside of that, I'm not going to do anything else to mess with the mechanics on this truck. You know, it does what it does. It is what it is. It's a V8. It gets crappy gas mileage because of the transmission they put behind them, but that's beside the point. Got the new Bosch wiper blades on it. As you can see. So she's good to go. A little piece of trim right there. I'm going to see if I can get a replacement piece because that one's kind of messed up. Uh, truck is 10 years old so it's got a couple issues here and there but outside of that the rest of them are pretty good um, grill still working great for me thanks to Chase for the Father's Day gift um, I haven't really done anything else to the truck as of late um, everything's the way it's been for a while tunnel cover still holding up I have started one thing it's buying some firewood up remember I live in the state of Tennessee you can't go in the state park national park without treated firewood and basically what they do is they sorry about that angle basically what they do is they go in and uh, put the wood in an oven and kill any bugs that might be living in it but I started buying up some firewood and I keep my firewood back over there in that back corner there's not much anything over there right now but I got three bundles of it so far that way if I pull up the campsite in the middle of the night um, I got some wood to start and it's treated and I can show them that it meets the regulatory requirements and everything um, I put this in Ben I bought some, some of these from a local bakery here and that's where I keep my other stuff. Uh, there's my Fisker's splitting axe. There's my cold steel shovel. Uh, 12 volt 110 light. Bag of charcoal in case I need it. Extra boots. Uh, more fire starter, fire starter log. Warm hands. Uh, there's an inverter. So I keep all this stuff in here. So it's always in the truck. And spin. But that's it for now. Uh, I'll bring it back later. I do some other stuff. Um, I do have my water tank back in here. It does not have any water in it so it doesn't freeze. Chair stays in here and that awning's in here. I need probably need to get that out at some point, but I'll bring it back in a little bit. Okay, I got the bed cover open now. It's one of those trifolds. So I like those things. Um, you can see my wood. I got bundle over there, and there's bundle here and bundle here. There's more up under that one. And then there's my chair and my canopy, which I'll always take. Um, over there is two different tarps. That one's actually an old canopy tarp that I can tie and hang it up in the trees if I needed to. 
That one is more of my uh, sleeping bag tarp or tent tarp. So, okay, I'm probably gonna close this out right here. Um, one of the things mainly I want to point out to you: um, both vehicles run synthetic motor oil in them. Well, and his does too because it's turbo power. Uh, got a turbo on it. But the main thing is keeping the maintenance up on these things. And these are what gets us back and forth to work every day and then gets us out to our adventures every day all, all the time. Um, you know, the Murano has been on a few trips with us. Been on a lot of trips. And so is the Titan here of late. Uh, big girls done some good trips too. And got a bunch more coming. But anyway, you know, simple things like wiper blades and the washer fluid and the headlights and that kind of stuff it makes a difference in the world uh, when you're going out on these adventures on the road and you know it's one less thing you gotta worry about failing on you and them wipers were they were failing last night couldn't see nothing and pouring down rain and dark, driving dark roads that's the other reason why I like the the silver star headlights they're a little bit brighter they're a white light and a yellow light so it doesn't fade out on you uh the Bosch wiper blades like i said those things they may have been two years old now to think about it and the fact that they failed well it was time and that's my fault i should have caught it before now because they were split bad so anyways guys that's probably gonna be it for today's vlog or for today's video uh, get this edited up and put it up for tomorrow and hope you have a great Sunday. I'm going hiking. Later. Later.